This might not be a video, because it's just level grinding. I don't think we're gonna do more than that, but may as well record it in the event that something interesting happens. Yeah, these are the only personas I have. And they're both sick, so I have to do pretty much- I have to be fast, else they'll all die. <laughs> Basically. There are two of them! Attack! <laughs> two enemies left! I summon you! And these guys are it's weak to fire. Do I have that? I don't. <laughs> so we'll just do Morning Star. Oh, that's rude. Oh wow. Really? Thank you, game guy. Cancun. I go next. Mitsuru Senpai is seriously hurt. No EXP. <laughs> no EXP bonus. <laughs> Very well, game. I did. There's one enemy. Well, I didn't see it myself, but Just know that if you get into trouble, run. I uh I got told by a friend, Hart specifically, and I, I did not give the response that uh they thought I was gonna give. Because they're like, Oh, did you know the D Devil by Cry is gonna get an anime adaptation? And then I said it already has one. <laughs> Four days enemies. Now's the time. <laughs> it has this is not the response they were expecting. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Oh, nice. You're on a roll. No, uh, I think DMC5 is going to be its own stream in the future, once Personathon's done. Also, October is really close, so I do want to get done with Personathon because I have a lot of horror games to play. There's one enemy! Attack! 
Mm-hmm. Wow, you're all so powerful. Only one enemy left. And there's a couple of other games that we've played not to completion that will eventually be find their way as being there on their own that I originally tried to have after Tales of Asperia. But yeah, the encoding overloaded stuff and also just the length of that game compared to its predecessors. I think it'll be faster. There are three enemies. Be careful. I if I go and uh, just do mana on its own day. Hmm. Fun. Attacked each other and didn't heal the snakes. Because <laughs> both of them had access to Dirahan skills. <laughs> Don't really know what you would describe. They had access to Dia skills. The one that healed it fully. <laughs> didn't want to deal with there that. Are three enemies. Be careful. <gasps> Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. It's just a lot of... I was just very worn out after what happened, because it was a... It was really scary for them, and I wanted to be there. And then it, you know, was like 6 in the morning. And I thought I'd sleep, and then we'd stream, but no, I was just... somewhere else. Mentally. Mm. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to stream because I'm not gonna be able to, you know, be. While streaming. Watch out! There are four enemies! The enemy's down. Let's finish. You'll fall by my hand. There we go. Max level Lucifer. Alright, I don't know what's over there, but I'm gonna ignore it and just go upstairs. Mm hmm. Oh, well, the stairs are over there. <laughs> I'll go this way then. To it. it seems like Persona! this should be fine. It was more than fine. <laughs> Still no wands, my goodness. Four 
today's enemies. Now's the time. I summon you. Alright, now we investigate these places. And it looks like we're in the stage in which my team is scary. <laughs> the enemies are afraid of uh, Ken and Mitsuru, despite being sick. Or perhaps because they are, but no, it, it's because they're level 93, I believe now. If I can get a shuffle time, that'll give me wands, please. There are three of them. Strike first. The enemy is down. Here's our now chance. Then. Let's do it. Understood. I'll gladly take more cash, but while it's full, actually, I need- I can't take more cash. I should stop doing shuffle times that wands don't show up in. There are two enemies. <laughs> the enemy is down. Well Now's done. your chance. Right, because I earned back all the money I spent <laughs> fusing the Messiah. I'm about to spend a bunch more. Inevitably, I will spend a bunch more. There we go. But it was only two of them, so this isn't actually gonna be an insane amount. Okay. Only Ken leveled up. Did Mitsuri level up earlier? Yes, she did. They're a little offset from each other. Five thousand eight hundred, though, given how much they ask for to level up even once now, that's not a lot. Four enemies, I they seem rattled. Unworthy of my that time. would be really unfortunate if they missed <laughs> on the second turn. Watch out! There are four enemies. enemies. Like, that's still half her HP, because she's sick. Two enemies left! Don't leave the job unfinished. I command thee! Aww. <sighs> don't. I don't have many of those. An enemy defeated. Last one. Don't let your guard down. Oh. 
should have just used magic. A ton of money that I didn't need. <laughs> I will do it a third time. You can't dodge it every single time. Two enemies. I summon you. Okay. Last one. Don't let your guard. Wait. <laughs> Only one enemy I break. summon you. Don't don't use slash attacks. It repels them. Of life. Nice. There are two enemies. I summon you. Two enemies left. So I had him guard. I'll take that. Nice. Nice. Discard. There are four enemies left. This no longer. Oh, hey, she got some. Three remain. You she got one. <laughs> Two enemies. Take it up. Not bad. Take this away. Here's our chance. Let's do it. Understood.
All right. Watch out! There are four enemies! You found the enemy's the enemy's weak. down! Let's finish this! You'll fall by my hand! Four more levels. Watch out! There Persona. are four enemies. You found the enemy. The enemy down. Let's finish. You'll fall by my hand. Wow, 2,000 just normally. If I can get 1 to 10 on that, that'd be nice. Oh, those are the stairs. There are three of them! I strike Seven first! Zio doesn't work. I don't have Garu. Left. Persona. There are two of them, Whisper. and they're shook up! The enemy's right. the enemy's down. Let's finish. You'll fall by my hand! a little part past the stairs. There are three of them! Strike first! Persona! Left. All right, and do it again because I don't trust Mazdaine to not somehow leave like the biggest one alive. All right, three more. This isn't even gonna be an hour long at this rate. So who knows? These last couple of levels do kinda take a while. There are four enemies! Attack! Persona! There's one enemy. Ugh. Only one enemy left. Ah. Uh. 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 
Ugh. I pooped. There we go. Thank you, Mitsuru. You're unworthy. They all seem agitated. That's the way. The enemy's down. Let's finish. You'll fall by my hand. Nice. Come on, Ken. I know you can level up. You're the. He's not quite at level 96 yet, is he? Oh, no, he is. All right. Watch out. There are four enemies. I summon you. <laughs> Oh, do your best, Mitsuru. There are three enemies. Be careful. I summon you. There are three enemies left. This is no longer okay. just. She got one of them at least. Only two remain. I was not wrong. <laughs> Left us this way. Hi, Jumpy. I'm doing all right. <laughs> How are you? Watch out. There are four enemies. <sighs> all right. Oh, it's cold. Just level grinding. Now. Hopefully we'll be done with it by this stream, so that way Thursday we can focus on advancing the story. Okay. Being tired isn't very amazing. Unless it's when it's supposed to be, like at night. <laughs> uh. 
Gonna have them jarred. Uh, Mazudan works. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. No, there's still more floor. mentioned it offhandedly. I don't remember if on or off stream, but Tartarus's floors in portable feel a lot Three smaller than in Fez, but Monad is the same. Monad floors feel huge. But you know, given how short <laughs> Monad is Oh, with only 10 floors. It's like, oh yeah, just make the floors massive. Works for me! I'd imagine other people wouldn't find it as fun. <laughs> there are four enemies! Attack! They're tiny. Yes. <laughs> Who goes next? It has they know lightning. Don't do anything, Ken. So long as you hit one or two, that'd be awesome. Nice. I forgot that they were weak ties. <laughs> She's almost at best speed, though. She's probably going to start. She's probably gonna join the guard all the time. <laughs> Team. There are three enemies. If she can hit one of these snakes. You did a nine floor final dungeon with traps and puzzles galore. Traps. Oh no. Ho hopefully the traps were and puzzles weren't that bad, right? Nothing that was like amazing, Mitsuru-san! Be gone! Please help me! Puzzles integrated into traps. Do not die, Ken. Thank you. Only one enemy left. Yeah, to the stairs. Um. And no puzzles that were just kind of like... Not sure what I did, but hey, <laughs> we got through it. Type of... Situation. I hope it didn't take too long, basically. There's an item for working to a specific spot on the floor. So it made 100 percenting them easier. Ooh, that does sound nice. That's like a reverse yeah. go home. Because you couldn't you You'll couldn't go to any hand. floor you wanted in Q. But you could leave from wherever you wanted. Or go back to the entrance of the floor based on where you entered the floor. Whatever. It was a consumable, though. Which is why we farmed the more variety. There was one treadmill section that would have been impossible without it. Oh. Mmm, a <laughs> treadmill. <laughs> like you step on the panel and it forces you to go a certain direction. Oh. You don't see well, I don't know. You don't see too many of those. There are two you... I know they're in Q. I don't think they're... 
I don't think there are any in Q2. I may be remembering wrong. If there were any location where there would be a treadmill, it would be in AI Gears. In a lot of first-person dungeon crawlers. Yeah, I definitely know. I, I definitely experienced that in Q with the, the, <laughs> the moving floor in Date Cafe. As well as... They were in Persona 2, actually. I don't think it let you move once you stepped on them. Persona 1, Mime 0. Oh, yeah. Why, why is it always first-person ones that that's a thing? I guess because it's easier to manipulate to like, oh yeah, you can't move while on this thing, specifically. <laughs> Oh, you just can't do anything. Okay. <laughs> he's not doing so well. He's doing ah, he's doing fine. Don't worry about it. He's doing fine. Only one enemy uh, left. I Works with tile movement. Yeah. Which is why it was weird to see it in Persona 2, because it was a top-down third person. Hmm. The Kishrod knows I'm <laughs> Luckily, the ones in Q weren't terrible. Oh, there are some in Q too, I just remembered. There are three enemies. Be careful. And then there was that one floor in uh, Void or that yeah, that one floor in Void Quest that would turn you around. Yeah, I, I don't know how it is in Q1. I know it, like, varies from person to person. But Qs weren't that difficult because... I mapped them out, so I never had to deal it. Oh, Lost Child had some of those, too. Yeah, the... There was that one floor where it just, like... It didn't actually turn you around, it just force changed the camera angle and the model's facing direction. So it like, throws you off. And it wasn't consistent either, <laughs> if you guys remember. <laughs> in Persona 4 and in Golden, I think, when I got to that floor I was just like, Because it kept changing. I'd be like, oh, no, no, this way, and then it turned me around again, and I'm just like, fuck! <laughs> I'm surprised... Not very many, like, granted, I don't use dungeon guides, so I don't actually know if it is, like, an agreed thing of that dungeon being terrible, but it felt like people liked that dungeon, or at least it came across as that. Because a couple of my streams, I was just like, oh no, Void Quest, uh, and with, like, that specific floor in mind. And then some people were like, why do you not there like Void Quest? And I'm like, well, it's not that I don't dislike it, I just don't particularly enjoy some of the gimmicks in it. <laughs> I summon you! Void Quest is a nice change of pace. I mean, I, like I said, I don't like dislike that dungeon. If anything, I think if people hate- if people were to dislike something specific about Void Quest, it probably wouldn't be that floor, it'd be the floor with the teleporters. Because people don't like teleport puzzles or navigating through that. But I didn't find that particularly difficult. True! Void Quest is very linear, despite that. I mean, every dungeon to a degree is linear, but you know what I mean. Where you had to, like, the floors being randomized. Void Quest has a couple floors that just are fixed, which is never the case in any other dungeon except for the one floor in Mariku Striptease. I'm pretty sure. Like, every other dungeon, every floor is random. It's 
So you knew what floor you were on based on the color of the walls in Void Quest. So it's just like, ah, yes, this is the room that turns you around, and ah, this is the room with the teleporting fountains. And its layout was never different. Which was good. I feel like that would be really frustrating if you combine if you combined teleporters with RNG dungeon layout. That'd be kind of mean. <laughs> Where does this don't portal the take you? Unfinished. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere. The map reset, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> no, they didn't do that. Probably because it would have been too difficult. Like, not impossible, but I don't see trying to program that and not, like, having a bunch of randomly generated floor layouts that actually get you like stuck permanently and having to manually Four remove days, those particularly those particular random layouts being fun I, summon you. I, I don't think anybody wanted to do that yeah <laughs> or they tried and realized it wasn't fun that was also a possibility i mean we don't really see traps in the same way in Persona games anymore. Persona 2 was really the last one. Because I think... I think they wanted to make it more dis separate, s distinguished from SMT, and SMT was the one that was like, haha, you have to walk through this poison lake in order to get to a thing that is vital to progress the story. Have fun. Also, enemies spawn while you're in it. more to fill out the map, yeah. That was definitely the case in 2. The traps were- the traps were there to force your hand to just experience them. And then there was the- <laughs> and then there was the undersea dungeon where I saved the game every few steps so I wouldn't have to go back up. Cause I just didn't wanna. There are two enemies. I hate pitfall traps. I think they are the I think they are my least favorite. I'm fairly certain they are my least favorite. Cause nothing like unless I'm level grinding. And I'm in that mindset. Being on a floor where you fall through the floor and go to a lower section of the floor and have to make your way back up. And then the place where you fell reset, so you don't actually know unless you've got really good photographic memory, like a photographic level of memory. That was that was a uh, that was a no for for me. I think if I was in the level grind moons mood set, um, it would have been fine, and it was for a while. But then I was I started getting more interested in just wanting to leave the dungeon. <laughs> So I was like, okay, we're gonna save, and if I fall through the floor, I'm gonna load the game. <laughs> Every other trap, I think, Watch out. I was only enemies. really mildly inconvenienced by. Mostly because some of the traps in 2 were funny. Like, poison's never funny. But the one where if you stepped on it, you would, like, explode and take a little bit of damage. I don't know what that type of trap would be described as. <laughs> but that was pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maya. Watching you take damage because you stepped on a little puddle of fire. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of amusing. <laughs> Yeah, but then there was the blue one, which was... Which also still damaged HP. I thought it, it damaged your SP. It did not. It was just blue. <laughs> but it did the same thing. I 
I think taking damage was less inconvenient for me than just like, oh, you've fallen through the floor and have to backtrack to get your way back left. to where you were before. Was like the thought process that was it, that was uh, making it get to me a little bit. But I still filled out all those maps. I think the. I think the the biggest reason why I didn't want to do it was because I uh in that dungeon that was not a map. What? I completely lost track of where Wand was. Uh oh. Was there something like that in two? I want to say there was, but they were, like, kind of hard to come by, or they were expensive. So I opted out of buying them. If they were for sale. I don't think they were. But yeah. Definitely, when doing map stuff, running into fights was something. <laughs> yeah. I think I was hurting for money for a while at that point, and then afterwards I, like... Forgot or something? I don't know. <laughs> they would have been really good in the Undersea Temple, I'll say that. <laughs> the XP was weird in uh, Lost Child or. Oh. Okay, good. I, I blinked and wasn't sure where it went. How did it work? Just thinking about it, yeah, if you, like... There are three enemies. Don't fight stuff. I summon you! Huh. Level was more a suggestion than a necessity. <laughs> I mean, it worked out. There are three enemies left. Still, that's kind of odd. You did your grinding early and then just never fell behind the curve. There are three of them. Strike first. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it definitely never hurts to do that. For some reason, the first thing that came to my mind was something that I don't think you did and I would never do, but I know it's possible because there's examples i just missed it i knew where it was but i just missed it um i keep getting suggested persona videos because i keep uploading persona videos <laughs> and subsequently watching a lot of persona videos but i think i mentioned this when i played tales of symphonia um that first like the very first area And I guess because of how all of portable, or not portable, for how all of Fez works, there was like a can you get to the level cap with only Febble? I don't know why there was a video for that. I don't know who, I don't know why you would do that, but I suppose it would be entertaining to be the level cap before the game even starts, but. Considering how long it's taking for these guys just to level up once, and I'm in Monad, there are three I would never do that. I will get people ahead for early game if I feel like it, and I will get people to the level cap if I feel like it, but I won't <laughs> combine oh those God, things so into one, because that takes too long. <laughs> Help, Cancun! He's not doing so well! Persona! 
just a little bit too long. Yeah, that's something that I don't always come across. Sometimes I struggle with it where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing great. And then I like don't fight anything and I'm like, oh, I'm doing not great. <laughs> I think I should level grind some more. <laughs> this instance was not one of those times. Is it possible to have 99 omnipotent orbs in your inventory? Short answer. Yes. <laughs> Long answer. Yes, but do you really need to? <laughs> What do you hope to achieve by managing something like that? Personal amusement goes a long way, but... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> At least you don't have to swap the map. <laughs> All right. She's nearly there, and it's only been an hour, which is perfect. It means I can do some daily life. In a bit. I don't know. Ken, how close are you? Oh. <laughs> and Mitsuru with only one level remaining until her stats get absolutely ruined has 556 HP and 351 SP so logically speaking if getting to the level cap didn't give her the maximum amount of HP and SP I think she would have about 560 and maybe 355 SP, HP and SP respectively, if the game didn't go, hey, you can't level up anymore. Here's 999 HP and SP. <laughs> Which I, I think is really funny, but... That's only speculation. It could be higher, it could be lower. Like how, um, like, last week I discovered because of the number of times I had to reset for Messiah, although I didn't announce my observation, or maybe I did, um, The stats that a persona gets when it levels up is randomized. I summon you. Which is really bizarre, but I guess it would explain the spell cards. I wonder if four is like that. I don't think fives is. I think fives the stats that the persona gets when it levels up are fixed. Holy shit. <laughs> That is not an insignificant amount of XP. 999 in all stats. Final Fantasy IV is like that! Oh no! That's amazing! There are three enemies. Be careful. That's another set of games that I have a lot of now, suddenly. <laughs> there are three enemies left. But October is coming up, and I also have horror games. I'm 
meant you should get 999 in all stats when you... Oh, where you reach level 99, and Final Fantasy IV has random stat increases at level ups. Ah, my bad. <laughs> I feel like if you put enough work into getting the level cap, especially if the level cap is something that's, like, particularly high, that would be pretty funny. But granted, I think the game that we all know, or at least have heard, that does that exactly just because of how power scaling works and what the level cap is in that game Watch out. is Disgaea, <laughs> because the level cap is really, really high. So the capped stats that you could have on a character are to the point where it really is just for personal satisfaction to see big number. <laughs> it's a hassle to reload at every level up and game isn't hard that anyway. Yeah. to enjoy most of the Final Fantasies. I can't say that I'll enjoy all of them because I literally know nothing about any of them except for two of them. There are four enemies left. And one of them is and of the two, only one of them I played to completion. I will happily replay seven. But if I were to tackle the games, I'd either go in order of release, or like, I don't know, spin a wheel or something. <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't be that random. But I don't want to do the best ones first. But I also don't want to play them in order, because I feel like if I do it that way in the back-to-back -back sense, it'll take forever for people to see the ones that they really want to see. I do want to play them all, though, since, you know, I have them suddenly. <sighs> Except for two of them. Three dazed enemies. This is our chance. I'll have to think about it. Because it's still going to be a ways off. Because even the, the wheel could be a, a dick and just be like, ah, yes, play this game, and now play this game. And then it just ends up being the thing that I wanted to avoid, where we play all the good, fun ones first. I summon you. But then again, I feel like the only ones that would be arguably bad are most of the newer ones anyway. And I don't think I have those specifically. I don't have 15. And 16 came out recently, so I definitely don't have 16. Or was it 15? It was 15. Yeah, I don't have 15. 15 was the one that came out because 14 is the MMO. Yes. And some of them are MMOs. Some of them no longer have support. I'm not going to play those. <laughs> Okay, 16 is the news one. Right, okay. Because I was like, wait, no, because 15 is the... 15 is the one with the memes. And then there's Final Fantasy Origins, which isn't numbered, but is supposed to be... Why Final Fantasy 1 even happens in the way that it does? There are three enemies. Be careful. I summon you. Right? That there one I also mostly only left. really know because I watched somebody else play it. And... Oh, what is it called, then? It's not Origins. What was the one that came out before... 16. That was a Final Fantasy. What was the name that they chose for that one? 
Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Thank you. <laughs> that one. I only know that one because I watched somebody else play, like, basically the final fight and also memes. So many memes of that one guy just saying chaos repeated there. And that was it. What's that one? How do people feel about that one? I also know that that was one that Square Enix was like, you can't stream the final yeah, the final boss. Like, you can't- well, you can stream it, but you can't have any saved VODs of it anywhere. Or something. Something, something, people will watch it and then not buy the game. Even though, statistically speaking, that's not how that works. <laughs> Like it, like it, it, it would be false to say that that doesn't happen at all, but a majority of people get the motivation to purchase a game based on watching there somebody else play it. Left. I summon you. And sometimes, I'm not gonna buy this Persona 3 portable game you're playing. <laughs> That's the thing, though. They were actually like that when Golden came out on the on Steam for the first time. They told people not to stream the last, like, to not stream December through uh, March in the game, <laughs> and nobody complied <laughs> because why? <laughs> Ooh, not what I meant to do. Like, no offense to Atlas, but, um... <laughs> I think the only thing that they asked for this game and for Royal was that if you played it when it released, they asked that you put spoilers. And I'm not doing that, and, you know... I mean, granted, it's been a while since the game has been launched on Steam. I'm certain they're gonna ask something of, of people when Reload comes out. But also, at the same time, literally every single trailer so far has had late-game spoilers in it, just out of context in a way where somebody who's never seen Persona 3 before wouldn't be able to immediately piece together what the fuck is going on. <laughs> the title every stream of Dot she did it to comply. <laughs> Cause that that is something. I hope they don't tell people don't like don't save VODs of the ending or tell or just like have you do the title. Like I'll do it if they do do it, but I just hope that they don't, because it does feel pretty, like, two-faced to go like, ah, yes, the second most recent trailer, it literally has Shindro's dying speech in it, as well as what is clearly the scene where he gets shot, but it's cut in a way where you don't actually see what happens, you just see Ken and blood splatter during the dark hour. <laughs> And their most recent one to showcase that they're going to, uh, explore more with, um... With, um... Strega. There's multiple scenes of Chidori and Junpei's interactions in the game, including when she kidnaps him. <laughs> and her fight! <laughs> And people forget things like that. That's true. It doesn't make sense out of context and people forget things like that. The only hope, the only thing that I hope they don't do, because they did this for Strikers, and they did this for trailers for Strikers, as well as trailers for Royal, um, 
where they I hope they that no anything shows Ryoji or Nyx. Because that would be I think that's not something that people can just forget. Maybe Ryoji, but definitely not Nyx. Do not do not show what Nyx looks like. I would love to know what Nyx looks like, but I can wait for the game to come out to see what Nyx looks like. <laughs> Because I feel like just flashing the final boss on the screen wouldn't be very fair to people who've never seen Persona 3. But also at the same time, again, anything is possible. That there's just somebody who was like, nah, I've never seen Persona 3 ever. You can't, I don't have hands for this model, but I'm gesturing towards the screen right now. This game is on Steam. <laughs> A lot of people played it on, on uh, Twitch when it came out on Steam. I know it's not impossible. But it's really hard to find somebody who's on the internet who hasn't seen something about the ending of this game. But yeah. They, they're doing that thing... They're actually doing it in a way that I, I don't mind too much because they want the trailers to be like, new person, look at how interesting this game is, as well as to long-running fans, hey, you know this scene, uh, you should get it hyped because there it is, but it looks cooler because newer models. So they're trying to do that like fine balance of doing both. Shit, she's coming back ending. Yeah, the realist thing. They retcon is dead. <laughs> I I thought I joked there's a sliver of a chance that they will. Like the tiniest sliver of a chance that they will retcon his death. But I have doubts. <laughs> I think they will keep it the same. I, as an individual will be happy either way, because I do think that the original intent and how everything with Shinji happens is very good. It's meaningful. It's a well-written character that you that you get like invested in, knowing only for everything to happen. <laughs> but I also like how Portable let us have him not be dead. <laughs> Because he's my favorite character. But yeah, it's not a very well-known spoiler. I think most people know about... Um, most people know about the sacrifice. And the meaning of why the protagonist's ultimate persona is Messiah. Um, and the memes, kind of. It's really hard to avoid the memes. His meme name is Dorkun. People know... It's hard to avoid, but they like to keep the lid on Shinjiro a little bit more. You were comparing to Final Fantasy VII Death? Oh yeah, that. I'm pretty- yeah, that's another one of everyone knows. Everyone knows that even if they haven't played, everybody knows. Yeah, Every uh, yeah. Honestly, I knew. I knew, and I had never seen Final Fantasy before, because it's just something that gets put on the internet. Or you just come across, or people talk about it because of, you know, how it affected them and stuff like that. Everybody knows about Aerith. Aeris, depending on who you are, and when you played the game, and where you played the game. Aerith, Eris, she, <laughs> everyone knows. Everyone who knows anyone knows. <laughs> Even if they've never seen Final Fantasy, because I was like that too. I knew about Aerith. I saw it coming. You couldn't rename her, so not an issue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna open my social link guide. Because we are going to leave, I think. I've got plenty of time for it. Do, 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 do. It is the fifth. Uh, 
Aeon 1 and Empress 6. We're probably gonna come across unless something happens. I will grab the personas now, however. Uh, and then Aeon, which is at the bottom. <laughs> Uriel, <laughs> who's a very high level. <laughs> I can't believe they changed her name in the localization and I'm too lazy to delete one letter and type in two. <laughs> Name everybody the same thing, and then lose track of who's who. I actually mentioned that, of if I played it and I- would I rename anybody? Or would I rename only Cloud, or would I just not like, touch anyone's names? And I think we agreed not to touch people's names, because variations of Z would make it really hard to figure out who's who after a while. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting thing, unless I'm remembering wrong, the Switch version, her name is Aerith by default. It's not Aeris. So. They, like, kind of undid that? I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I remember not having to change anyone's names. Vacation will be over soon. I am tired. Uh... I'm gonna go out and do the shrine. They still changed it in original and you have to bring that up every time. Yeah. Local is just localization things. I found five hundred yen. Whoa, welcome back. Hi, we should go to Tartarus now. Um, oh. uh... <laughs> fixing it now doesn't change it on my PS1 copy sitting in your closet that will never <laughs> true. It's just a walk. It's just- oh, It's not with Igus. Oh my god. Take me there. Actually, check everyone's statuses. Everyone can go tonight, but can I- can I check every- okay. Let's go to Tartarus. Okay, so remember when you said we were doing daily life? I lied, because Fuka told me that <laughs> Tartarus is unstable. Oh, you actually sold your copies. Yeah, because I was about to say, you have a PS1 copy? I think playable or not, people would, like, murder for that. Commit crimes. <laughs> and if it had the manual? <sighs> Neko Shogun. I'm not gonna put anybody in the party. I am tired. I'm gonna... Eat a thing. Where is it? Yon be gone. Where are you at? It was only $24 complete at used game store when you got it. Gosh. And then I still think about... The image that I was shown... 
where somebody got portable for PSP physically, and it was just the game. And it was, like, $80 even. It was just like, oh no, you should not have done that. <laughs> Unless you're a collector. This is the green label greatest hits. Where is my yawn be gone? Where is the Y? Or is it down here? It is! Now I'm doing great. Alright, open the other thing. And scroll down, like, really far. So much scrolling. Oh, there we go. Homunculus, diamond, and sapphire. Which I have how many homunculi? I lost one. Or two, even. Eight. <laughs> And... Do I even have any diamonds or sapphires? Uh, looking like a no. Diamond and sapphire. Diamond is... I mean, I imagine it's something something translation error. Because that game's translation is kind of actually awful. Like, it's not great. Uh... That sounds like an, uh, it, that sounds like the same reason as to why in DMC1, Nero Angelo is Nello Angelo in English, but it's supposed to be Nero Angelo. Yeah, but basically, it's basically a, a, a trans- Literation. Like, uh, I guess is spelling. Technically, A-E-G-I-S is the correct spelling. It's just, if it's spelled like that in English, no one pronounces it I guess. It's, it's Aegis. But. In Japan, all versions of her name written in English spell it Aegis, but in Japanese they say I guess. Or I guess. So, just weird translation things. Um, I don't need to go from here. I need to go into a specific block. Adama is this one, yes. Yes. Haraba is lower. We're gonna get the diamonds first, because I feel like the diamonds will be easier. Which is... Yeah, Adama is what we're, where we want to go. You hope it's Eegees in the <laughs> Eegees. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> I would laugh. while though they did change it because in Q2 enemies. This is our chance. they use it to make a pun uh I don't know what these guys give but it's not what I'm looking for oh yeah I need to do this it's time for the return of this <laughs> yo Tartarus is unstable. Yeah, better yet, let you choose among multiple pronunciations and the options. Uh, 
I will fight you. What, what are what you? There are more of these. Enemies. I need the time. Daring Gigas, Light Balance, Minotaur One, and Nemean Beast. Which I yeah, these are not it. <laughs> Also, this is not a rare floor. <laughs> but yeah, in Q2, they, they definitely at some point... I think Arena is the last time we see Igus's name being written A-A-G-I-S. And even then, it's only in the animation at on the title screen. And, yeah. It's Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, specifically. This is the last time you see any video or image, I think, of her name being spelled that way. Not what I meant to do. What are you? There are two enemies. Green Sigil. Because, at least by Q2, because of the pun, for I guess, which I always said AI I guess, because I think that's what they were going for, um, it is spelled A-I-G-I-S. This is indeed Adama, though. I have Neko Shogun on. Tartarus is unstable. Where is my rare floor? Okay, well. <laughs> Not the one that I was specifically looking for, but... <laughs> it did show up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing that I need to think of. Gigas, Light, Palance, Minotaur 1, and Nemean Beast. There's a section where they- what floors they specifically show up on are down there. My- my- I don't even know how to pronounce that. Alright, let's see. Let's- let's look where the- where Daring Gigas are, because I feel like those would show up in groups, right? They are the red shadows on floor 191 to 213. Okay. And then... They are weak to win. That's nice. Okay. And then... Oh, they're not rare shadows in this section, though. We have light balance. They are on floors 229 to 235. Minutes are one. Let me spell it right. I think I knew that, but okay, 245 and 261. And then the Mean Beast are on two thirty-seven to two sixty-one. Okay, so we kind of have. What's the? I guess I want to be higher up then. Me, me, Jessica. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right, I need to be closer to floor 260. A clear view of this entire floor, which is perfect. I'm actually gonna go back to the entrance since I now know where the access point is. 
Hello, can I fight you? Ugh, I got him. Don't run. A surprise attack. Yes, the sound There's was necessary. One. Good job. Oh yeah, because I made that. Uh the spear. <laughs> gap then because that's where some of them will show up it was telling me where diamonds were in a section that I actually don't have access to yet either way diamonds is what we're looking for so diamonds are what we're gonna farm I don't imagine I'm going to get that many, and next stream is unfortunately going to be in Tartarus again. <laughs> Ooh, a bead! But Tartarus is unstable, so it should be fine! <laughs> Just need to increase drop rate. Gotta reload so it's more like unsuitable. I mean, <laughs> there are more enemies than usual. I mean, I'll do it. I'm not afraid. I don't need the money though, so I may actually a reload after attack. I fight a few. Nice. Good job. Oh. <laughs> My options are all the exact same thing. <laughs> Fuck yeah, my favorite. <laughs> A surprise attack. It There's wasn't even one. like one of them didn't have the reefer sigil on it. Good job. I don't need money. Uh, did we ever establish a solo change drop rate? Uh, no, we didn't. Who do we want to bring for this then? Cause I'll gladly bring a party of people. I mean, they're all level ninety nine. Oh, they're he's turn. All right. Oh. I'll. Okay, he is in a good mood. She's fine. He's fine. Um. Yeah, I'll bring Akihiko. Why not? <laughs> I should bring everyone, honestly. We'll also see if it affects drop rate. It'll be easier to get shuffle times, but that's not the aim. So we'll see. Hello. Also, things are incredibly afraid of me. Hello, bead. How many do I intend on getting? You got better pretty quick, Ken. I bet you were faking. Yeah, it's literally only been a day and he's no longer sick. Meanwhile, Junpei and Kormar are retired. Hey, perfect. You. Have I fought one of these before? It's 
seems yes, like I have. Okay. Left. Way to go, Yukari san. One more to go. <laughs> There's literally no reason. Oh. Okay, so they gave an emerald. How many do I intend on getting? Um, how many homunculus is too many? I have eight. Five enemies, and they seem rattled. Good luck, everyone. Two to go. And I'm gonna fight Elizabeth, or not Elizabeth, Theodore. Theo. I can't look. We're gonna fight Theo <laughs> by the end of the January. There are two enemies. <laughs> I'll be cheering you oh. on from here. I guess this slashing attacks won't work. Two enemies left. That's the last Literally only me then. <laughs> I won't go down. They give a pearl. Thank you. It's very dusty. I need to vacuum. Val procures much hair. Three enemies. They all seem agitated. I don't know what Just these guys give, everybody. but I'm going to beat them up. Nice. <laughs> Did you see that, Shinji? Oh, they give pearls too. Not what we're after, but hey. That's pretty good. And other than the Reaper using insta kills, uh, hi. Um, he's not scary. The enemy's weak against ice. Oh, Two really enemies cool. left. Oh, but they're both. They're both rattled. Incredible. Distressed. They gave me nothing. They were so distressed about it. They just they could they could. There are two of them. Attack! <laughs> wow, you're, you're just all one so more. powerful. <laughs> Did you see that? Val orders more hair and has it shipped. So much hair. Proferment. Wow, one more. So powerful. Two remaining. I forgot to put the one more to go. Outside, I just realized. But hey, that means I don't have to pull them in. <laughs> it's like a business firm. Where are the There are two of them. Attack. Good oh. luck everyone. Is that deforestation you mentioned a while back? <laughs> Did you see that Shinji? <laughs> what the fuck? This is such a small floor. Three enemies. Be careful. It's weak against. There are three enemies left. Not what I meant to do, but you know what? That's fine. Kind of forgot I had an Echo Shogun on. Literally do nothing. Wow, this is really not the team for this guy. <laughs> like at all.
Honestly, yeah, I could have just rushed. I still even got rewarded for doing so. Oh, they give topazes. That's good to know. Hello. Dice. They do give pearls. I think I can use the pearls for something. Two remaining. That's the last one. Let us strike while the iron's hot. Can't miss. Wow. Is this just not the attack. section where they show up? If you get into trouble, I feel like we'd see Nemi and Beast and Minotaurs at least. Maybe I do maybe I should be lower so I can get the light balance and Gigas. Daring Gigas, Light Balance, Minotaur 1, and Nemean Beast are the four things in Adama that drop diamonds. Four days enemies. I may have to relook it up and then write down what their ranges are because I clearly have forgotten what their ranges are already. One more to go. He does get fur on Christmas. He, unlike the cats, I don't think cares much for there are it. Three of them. Strike first. Huh? Enemy defeated. Do it again. As in, like, I don't think he- I don't think he cares that it's there. Maybe if there was one upstairs all the time, I'd have to worry about him knocking it over or something, but... We don't have a tree climber. We were warned he was a tree climber, but he doesn't really- he hasn't yet. <laughs> And the um Watch out. There are four enemies. I summon you. Pumpkin will eat the leaves, but that's about it. I don't really know what it's going through Mila's mind. I have not run into a single game. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna look up again where each one's located, and then I'm gonna write it down and figure out which ones overlap so I can pick the right floor, because this is clearly not it, or I'm just incredibly unlucky. <laughs>
Okay. And now the audio is going to go away as I search these again. Don't worry, it'll be fast. Okay, Nimbian Beast is 237-261. He should be here then. Because I'm on like 240-something. <laughs> Alright. Very well. Uh... Minotaur 1, not 4, not 3, there he is, 245 to 261. Oh, so I'm one floor lower than he shows up. Still, the ranges for Nemean Beast and Minotaur overlap, so I should probably move up a floor. Light balance should also... Light balances are lower. They're 229 to 235. And I'm assuming the Daring Gigas are lower as well. Uh... Floors... That's not right, because that's... Oh, there we go. 229 to 235. The exact same range as the light balance. Yeah, I had a feeling that not all four were in the same area, but now we have... Visual... Points? Nice. That's a lot of points. I could probably make it a redeem. Would you immediately spend your points, depending on what the redeem was, though? That's the real question. So I'm on the correct floor exactly for Minotaur, and Nemean Beasts should be in this range as well. But nothing- NONE OF THEM ARE SHOWING UP! They all seem agitated. Doesn't help that it's a small floor. <laughs> Right, if you get job. into trouble, run! <laughs> this is mighty unfortunate. It may also I'm pretty sure Minotaur show up by themselves, so. There are two of them, and they're shook up. Good luck, everyone. Not much to do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> Who I used to be. In fact, it may it may actually be better to go down. I'll save though. I didn't grab any of what I needed, but I did grab some stuff. So Uh, 229 to 235. So this, this range exactly. Cool. <laughs> okay, so they both should be here. And search the area. Gather me things, potentially, everyone. Under hmm. Oh. Everybody, please regroup. Is that it? Yes.
understood or understood <laughs> understood I changed the uh, category so if you're still seeing tails that uh, uh that's just twitch being weird I'm pretty sure I changed the category and the title unless I didn't hit done Yeah, it happens sometimes. Oh, more EXP on this place. <laughs> more EXP. <laughs> yeah. Twitch just does that sometimes, where if I had my category as one thing and then switched it, some people coming in won't have it be the new category. Just like the other day when it was Oblivion and not Morrowind, but then someone was redirected to here while they were specifically looking for Morrowind, which was like... I've never seen Twitch do that before. But hey. They stuck around, and... That, hey, I consider that a win. <laughs> But yeah, it's just strange. It's like... I don't know why Twitch put me in the Morrowind category. Yeah. I think it's like, case by case. Maybe 20 minutes after that? Hmm. Funky. Because I would have checked myself, but I didn't want to, because I was, you know, I don't remember what I was doing, but I was doing something that warranted me not wanting to stop playing to look it up and see for myself. Even though I could have done so easily. Because it was a console game at the time. I was just like... It's a... Scrolls game? <laughs> so I guess close enough, Twitch? I don't know. It's the same logic, or lack thereof of it, that causes RE2 and RE4 to be the exact same category for both the original and the remake, so it doesn't matter which one you're actually playing, it will always group you in the same category with people playing the other version of the game. Because there's no, like, subtitle to differentiate the two, Twitch is just like, I ah, just call them the same thing. Which is bizarre. It's like... Hmm. Like, ha like, it's weird that it's... I'm certain there are more games, but specifically for the Resident Evil series, it is weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> And yet three has two categories. Exactly. I think it's because one of them is called Nemesis. Like, it has Nemesis as a subtitle, and then the remake doesn't, so it's just like, yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, two used to be separate, because when you look it up in the directory, uh, both images, like, like, the thumbnails for the two, even though they're labeled as the same, indicate which one's remake and which one's not. It's just, it doesn't matter which one you click. You will just, it'll automatically just random update to whichever one is... It feels like. I, when I was playing two, I, I looked up and I specifically selected remake thumbnail. And then... When I clicked yes, it switched <laughs> on me and flipped to the original <laughs> RE2 thumbnail, and I'm like, that's not the one I'm playing, though. <laughs> but yeah, 4, four does that, too. I 
I think the only way, and that's only if Twitch made it a category. Um, I think the only way to tell that somebody's playing Remake is now with the uh, separate ways. Um, I think for some reason RE4 Remake separate ways has its own category, whereas the original RE4 separate ways, it isn't. But if it's not, then last I checked, I saw somebody had the category being labeled specifically as separate ways, but everybody else just had RE4. Maybe somebody tried to make it a category. Because I know there is actually a category for RE2 Remake, last I checked. Okay. But it has no thumbnail and Everybody, nobody following the category to watch it, so I just opted out of labeling it like that. They want me to play OG. They do! They really do! You don't see separate ways as a separate category? Okay. It's really funny, though, because it's like, that's the same thing with Tales of Asperia. When you look up Tales of Asperia, the first thing that comes up is the Xbox, the thumbnail for the Xbox version, and then the second one, even though it's labeled the same, is the PlayStation 3 thumbnail, so the Japanese version, um, essentially, because there's no English version of the PS3 version of Tales of Asperia, and then you have Definitive Edition, which is... You know, the content that was in the PS3 version, but for Xbox One and PS4. I will grab this. It's right there. Twitch is weird. I don't know what causes things to be a category on Twitch. Because it feels like sometimes you can type whatever you want. Because Oblivion is a category, and then the Elder Scrolls Oblivion is a category. So I just always categorized it as the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Whereas Skyrim, it, it, it you type in Skyrim and the only thing that shows up that you can differentiate are it and uh, Special Edition. Just like base game and Special Edition. Oh, get it. I don't get it. <laughs> you know what? No. You guys grab Please me some stuff. Uh, or the oh, stairs. I have found something. There's nothing on this floor. And I don't imagine it's Starfield to scroll this slop. <laughs> All right. Okay, where are you guys going? There's a path over here. Anybody taking it? No. Yes, somebody is. I just cool. found. Cool. Give me your stuff. Everybody, please read Give me the things you found, please. Be where are you at, though? He ain't over here. Did he even spawn? We'll see him. Oh, there he is. And then he stands there. Menacingly. Or just, I don't know, he doesn't- he's not very menacing. <laughs> not to be easy. Not anymore. It's an inevitability. Doesn't look like your kind of game, but you've heard nothing but good things. Exactly! Like, I don't- I'm certain there is negativity about the game out there, obviously. It's- it's, it's impossible to say that there- it, 
well, it's impossible that there isn't. But in terms of, like, majority, unless it's an incredibly vocal minority, but that's usually when people are trying to convince you something is bad rather than something is good. <laughs> um, uh, I'm pretty sure the majority of people have had mostly good things to say about it. Like, I can't imagine. I, I, it was popular, you know? I'm not getting good luck on the RNG of getting a, a rare floor to be drop rate up. Twice I've gotten EXP. Once, again, that was dark. We got separated. And then twice was I don't sense anything or no enemies. Alright. Oh. Alright, Day Nightfall. Ah! Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. When is my break? Uh Oh! It was supposed to be 30 minutes ago. Oops. <laughs> I would go much later than eight, though. And it's seven forty-six. But maybe uh, eight thirty. If I if I do a really short break, I'll go till eight thirty. What do we think? What do we think? Because I can refund those points if we decide not to take a break. Yeah. Alright. Still gonna play... Yeah, I'm still gonna play some ads, because this will be the third ads. Yes. But yeah, I'll be fast. It'll just be a quick break. Uh, I don't think I'll even grab a drink, because I just finished the one that I had. Or, no, I will. I'll, I'll try- I'll be quick, though. I'll be quick. Don't worry, don't worry. But yes. Enjoy Tales of Abyss music, and I'll be back in a little bit. Wah!
I'm back, chat. I also got food. Because, um, I didn't check my Discord when I launched. I saw the notification, but I wasn't on the page and knew the game would go quiet if I did that. And, uh, the message was to tell me that dinner was ready. <laughs> Oops. All right. Thank you. Okay, pausing that. Oh wait. Oops. Uh, not quite yet. <laughs> Portable. And <laughs> I needed to. But yeah, I got meatloaf and potatoes. They were. They hadn't been put away yet, so that's good. Ah, you know what? Alright. Alright. I'll let them grab some stuff. Hi, Yukari. Run around a bit while I eat. Hmm, never mind, not a big floor. <laughs> Yes, I got food. So I'm sustaining myself. I noticed I was hungry, so I was like, oh, I'll grab a snack. And then I was like, oh, there's meatloaf. And then I came back up and checked my Discord. <laughs> Yukari would have cut her leg on your weapon running into it like that. Yukari's level 99, though. She's a force to be reckoned with. As are everyone else, including me. So... Maybe she would have still been in a little bit of danger, but she'd be fine. <laughs> she could heal it. Uh, normal floor. <sighs> we want drop rate up. Not darkness. There wasn't a lot of gravy to put on it. But it's not dry, so it's alright. The meatloaf, that is. Not Yukari's leg. It's, uh, I could have been talking about the potatoes. That's true. That is true. Um. It's a Swedish style of meatloaf. So it's, it's pork and beef. Like ground pork, ground beef. I think the recipe calls for ground lamb and ground beef, but we don't always do that. And then instead of, like, ketchup and mustard, you use, uh, beef gravy and... I want to say cream of mushroom soup. And sour cream. And then you 
you put beef gravy on it. You can also use mushroom gravy. Hence the, the bit where you use cream of mushroom in the, in the meatloaf. But yeah, no onions or anything like that, because I know that's in some meatloaf. It's different. It's a different type of meatloaf. It's prepared a lot differently. Cooked the same. Also still tastes good. But. It is a protein only <laughs> type of meatloaf. Like, I'm pretty sure, besides what's holding it together, there is no... There are no vegetables <laughs> in it at all. Oh, I guess it's gonna set off the shadow, but I want the chest that's over here. It's just pure meat. Oh wait, no, that was portables. YouTube doesn't like time. But it also doesn't like burn my dread. Because... reasons. Like, YouTube will grab Burn My Dread for copyright. Which... I mean, I never uploaded- I, n I never recorded, uh, during the time that I streamed Fez. But it was really weird that of, uh, of, that of all things, it's just the title. Song. Because we've had Mass Destruction play during breaks, and they don't care about that. We've had, um, Soul Phrase play during break. It doesn't care about that. We've had Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There play. Just in gameplay and during break for both the dancing game and when I was just- When I pulled it up in the Thieves' Den. I don't know what it is that causes certain songs that YouTube is just like, no, you can't. Because the, um, the big Persona 2 Innocent Sin, uh, OST that we used. Some random fucking dungeon themes have been grabbed for copyright. But not Unbreakable Tie. Which, considering that the credits to Eternal Punishment get grabbed, as, like, I think the only other song with lyrics in it, <laughs> it's bizarre. It's really bizarre. I don't know. I don't know why. And, of course, it's not a big deal for those that do get grabbed during breaks, because... We have the, uh, six-hour recording limit. Uh, so that way I can edit out those that play during break. Really easily. It's still odd, though. It's a phenomenon that I cannot explain. It may have something to do with what specific record labels were responsible for the recording of some of the themes? Because it's really only a few. Like, you'd think the whole OST would be... wouldn't be safe. Since it is dungeon themes that are getting grabbed for Innocent Sin, but no. Not all of them. Just specifically, I think... Jibalba? Or whatever it was called. 
and the uh, underground area, the bunker theme, or something in, in some other dungeon theme in Innocent Sin, is just no. I think it might actually be one of the variations of Alba Park. <laughs> yeah, just mute the music. If it's not, if it's not on the tail end of uh, me coming back, I cut it out completely. But I mute it if it's like, oh yeah, it's too close to me announcing that I'm back. So I'll just keep it so that way they can see the transition back to me being there. And then hopefully I don't, you know, options just turn slider down. <laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? I did stop him from approaching. Yeah, I usually trim out the song. If I could, if it weren't, it'll be great. If it wouldn't make the file sizes massive, I'd go back to going in and manually editing out the breaks entirely, but that's annoying, because it makes the file, which is already about, like, almost, this is another EXP floor, <laughs> uh, um, it makes the file that's already almost, like, just under with a six hour, almost six hours, into something that's like 60 gigs in size. It's just like, that's a whole ass fucking video game. <laughs> da Vinci, why? Hell, that's in some cases not even a video game. Like a third of a video game. I watched a video recently on, uh game sizes or just scope scale stuff big big thing yes um such as the currently incredibly popular baldur's gate 3 and it talking about like why as great as that game is and how all like the, the praise that's being thrown its way is deserved we should not see baldur's gate 3 and go every game should be like it because it's not possible to keep that as a standard. And even for the studio that made the game, I believe it's Larian is the name of the studio, uh, it was definitely a the planets have aligned moment <laughs> in terms of uh, the success of that game. That even in development, when Larian made Divinity Original Sin, they... Divinity 2 Original Sin, they barely skirted going into bankruptcy before that game came out. And they were, you know, actively putting resources in developing, into developing Baldur's Gate 3. Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> Oops. Divinity... <laughs> I think I said it right, and you're just memeing, but just in case. I didn't mean to say Da Vinci if I did. Uh, that it, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, uh, it's kind of a miracle that that game came out and that the studio that is doing so well, that it was made with such care, and that the studio isn't being put into the ground for it. <laughs> But, if we see that, and go, Ah, oh, every game should be like this. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna go very well. Not just for the development process, but also for, uh... <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't mess it up. Um, we'll either get something that's of a subpar quality, 
because it promised something on that scale, or we'll get something of quality, and then that studio will never be able to make another game again because it spent all of its money and resources making that game. And he gave some examples. I've never heard of this studio. I've never heard of the game, but the studio... I forgot the name of the game. The studio was Mimi Me. They made a really cool game that everybody loved, and it was super big and awesome, and then they went bankrupt. Despite people liking the game and it doing well, they had just spent so much time, money, and effort into the development of the game that the company just could not stay afloat despite how well it was doing. Which is really scary. And there have been other, like, developer articles and discussions about, like, how the current prices for video games are too low for how much time and effort, like, cost is spent in development for the game. But everybody knows we still think $60 is a lot. What is this me be me game? I believe this- it's M-I-M-I-M-I. And I want to look it up to be sure. Games. Me, 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 games. They made... What was it called? Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew. 10 out of 10 on Steam and 9 out of 10 on IGM. It's got a- it's got like five stars, it's a very positively reviewed game. 94% liked this video game. Came out August of this year, so a little before Baldur's Gate, and the studio is dead. <laughs> But it's probably because it's a genre that I'm not super a huge fan of, which is a- which is stealth game. I'll play them. I've enjoyed them. Then who's getting paid? The people who bought the distribution rights after they went under. Most likely. Basically, whoever took a share of the game after they filed for bankruptcy. They are getting paid for the success of the game. So not me, me, me. No. <laughs> Nope. They... they are... they are not in operation. And it's sad, because they... they have made... they made games, and they wanted to make more games, and then they actually couldn't. <laughs> but it's an example of, like, although the game did really well, the scale that they were going for, it made it hard to maintain and stay afloat in the process of developing it. So it was essentially their last game. So whether or not the game was dead on arrival or really well, there was no changing the course for the fate of that studio. Hello, Clay Souls. But yeah. Game... Games being made are becoming really expensive. And unless a game sells insanely well, it's kind of, like, not really a super net positive for some, especially on the indie side, to try to make something super big. But as 
far as consumerism goes, that's what people want, even if it's not what they really want. It's what sells to say, oh, this game is the biggest game ever. It's got so much in it. Trust. People will buy it. <laughs> I know. I know. I guess a, a quote in the game, because it was, a, it was a, a quote in the video, it was a noodle video, um, was like, game companies are corporately traded. They don't actually really care about the individual. <laughs> they only care about money, because money talks. And he said, and boy are we fucking loud. And it was an article mentioning how much money Diablo 4 made <laughs> already. And most of that money that was made wasn't even just purchasing the game. It was the microtransactions within it. So it's like, e. may not be what a lot of us want, because I don't want that either, but That's definitely, that's definitely what pe- it, that's what people who, like, huge corporate corporations see. Is they'll, they'll make- like, I'm not gonna say Diablo 4 isn't fun, but it's like, in terms of, like, things on a level of quality that people wish for versus what gets put out has a lot to do with why Diablo 4 made so much money in such a short period of time. It's because people buy the stuff that's in the game, like skins or EXP packs or, you know, all that. Something that doesn't really change much, but... Oh, did she mention that there are more enemies than you? She did. But yeah, there's lots of people who do, often. Like, Disgaea 4 Complete has purchasable EXP and gold as its DLC through the Switch store and other places that you can buy it. And I would never use that, but I'm certain there are people who have. Who are just like, level grinding, the level cap's 9,999. That's really, f really cool. Oh, hell, you're right. I said gold or gold, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, there's deal- there's DLC for that, that you pay- purchase, and it'll give you EXP potions and money. Yeah, or hell, in-game currency. Um, I didn't do it, I wouldn't do it, but there will be- there are people who will see... Ah. Uh, probably did. I'm still thinking about Tales of, I guess, because their currency is gold. <laughs> and then I didn't just- and I just didn't, uh enunciate the D in gold very well. But, uh, people will see that the level cap is 9,999 and you can do all this really cool extra stuff and then there will be people who are like, I want to see that, but I don't want to play the game that long to get it, so I'm going to spend money to do it. Yeah, like, like the EXP and money packs that's free for Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, it renews every single playthrough. That includes the costumes, even if you have the um, grade to, say, keep my titles. You can still just redeem them in case you play, like, a true new game. Like, that's, that's always there. I definitely used the ones that I have used on stream when I played the game the first time. And they refreshed themselves. They refresh themselves every subsequent playthrough. That's good. I'll give Bamco that. Because I don't really like costume DLC. Um, 
all that much. <laughs> but, uh... We're talking things like one-time use only, and if you want to use it again, you have to buy it again. People do it. People buy it. I can't say I've not done it myself once or twice for a game that I really, really like. But that's in the scope of, like, skins or stuff. And even then, I'm not really prone to doing that. But that doesn't mean that I haven't done it. And it also doesn't mean that I won't do it again. But when it comes to, like... Just, like... Because nobody's perfect. <laughs> It would be wrong of me to say that I won't ever do it again, or that I've not done it, because I've definitely done it. Just not for... Just not for any of the things that I've ever openly complained about. <laughs> like... Yeah, you'd be afraid of your save game. Honestly, yeah. I would be afraid to lose it and not having- not been able to use it. But another one is like... Uh, there's a game that I've been playing with Fisk and Vesper called Don't Starve Together. Pretty sure most people know of it. Um, there are some characters that are available, but are not unlocked at the start of the game. You have to do one of two things. You can buy the characters for seven dollars, which includes a couple of extra stuff. Or, I'm not supposed to be fighting these. Or, you can farm up duplicates of outfits that you unlock as you play the game, and unravel them for threads, and you can purchase them with the threads once you get about 2,700. But I can assure you, most people will not do that. They will just buy the characters. <laughs> The only beta game you know of that has that is Valhalla Knights 3, and that's just some of the DLC. Some are permanent and some are one-time units and I'll add it to your download list. Yeah, it's like the... It's like the demo of, uh, Tokiden 2. Um, you can only... You only have, like, three energy and it takes, like, seven hours to recharge it if you're playing the demo. They sell those refillable... They sell refills for that. We were just you know, but I'm just gonna say it again, just for the stream of, like, there are games out there that have something like that in place. And people buy that. People do buy it. God, I'm not getting the luck I need for this. It's just kind of how the market is right now. The most expensive one is it costs more than the full game, which is $60, which is high for a game that old. <laughs> I mean, it's not that old, but it doesn't go on sale. I feel like it should. It's, it's a it's a topic. I like the I do like the game though, but another example of a system in place that is really scummy and we don't like, but it's there because people spend money despite it being really scummy because it works i'm certain that system has made the studio more money than people bu just buying the full game Two of 
them. Attack. I'm sure. I, I want it to be. I would like the full game. It's very fun. I would like to be able to not have to refill three energy. Or, like, wait seven hours to refill three energy. Because I want to do more in a day than just three things. Or one thing. If it's the dungeons. But I'm also not going to spend money to do... It was 24 last time in June. Mm. That's not bad. Enemies. This I need to chance. switch my tabs. We are looking for Daring Gigas and Light Balance specifically. So I'm just gonna run from this. It's already almost 8:30. Oh my god! I finally got one where I could take advantage of the enemy's carelessness. <laughs> there are three of them. Strike first. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> At least we know and I have it written down for the future. <laughs> the last time before that was $30 in February of 2020. Oh wow. It doesn't go on sale often, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't. There are two of them. Attack! Two enemies. Before that, it was more frequent. Interesting. Huh. Oh! Here they are. Four enemies. They seem rattled. Light balances. There are four. The enemy's weakness is electricity. There are four enemies left. Go, Akihiko. All right, crit. <laughs> Go eventually, Akihiko. Let's see. Oh. I'm just going to hit this button then. And then not a single one gave me a diamond. Three enemies. They all seem <laughs> agitated. But yeah. It was a very interesting video. Did the video have to be made? Maybe if it didn't have to be a discussion on like, well, why can't they make a Baldur's Gate 3? It's like, well, this is why they can't make a Baldur's Gate 3. The studio that made it almost died in the process of making it. And it should not be an expectation for the future that games should be like Baldur's Gate 3, because it's not really feasible for a lot of studios, especially more on the indie scale, to try enemy. to do something like that. Wow, not for long-term company longevity, or lifespan. Persona 3 Reload will be that big. <laughs> Actually, I check again. That game's surprise. well, not surprisingly, that game's pretty small. Like, it's minimum. I'm gonna have to kill these. They'll add an extra year to the end. <laughs> but yeah, the minimum specs, they're not, like, crazy, but the storage space you need for the game is... tiny. Compared to other games that have come out this year, and will come out have yet to come out. I didn't need to do this. I didn't need to do this. I'm sorry. I didn't need this. Literally nothing can gain EXP. <laughs> 
Yeah. This is our chance. <laughs> I think it's because the game's pretty much done. There's probably just a few minor bug fixes and stuff that they want to tweak before the game comes out. Let me look at my wish list so I can see it. Cause I remember being like, whoa, that game's this game's gonna be tiny, ow. <laughs> yeah, compared to some games that are like well in their way to going over a hundred. And it's a JRPG. It was made with Unreal Engine. Eh, yada yada yada. 30 gigabytes of storage space is pretty damn small compared to other stuff. There are two enemies. You just looked it up and you figure I'll find it before I see this message. Yeah. <laughs> Latency. Curses. But yeah, 30 gigs of storage space, 8 gigs of memory. There are three enemies. Be careful. That's impressive. <laughs> That's not, that's not a crazy big game. In fact, I think it's a little on the smaller side, if anything, given what other stuff has come out. A surprise attack. Oh, it ran immediately. One. The enemy escaped. That was close. Two of them, and they're shook up. I find it. I find it a good thing that it's that small, though, because that means that people don't have to give up a ton to play it. They don't need something, some there insane specs enemies. in order to enjoy a Persona game. There is the classic Atlas concern of is it gonna run on. Is it gonna run, uh, well, specifically on Steam? <laughs> it's never not a concern given some of the ports that they've released, but considering that the, uh, I have, uh, I have hopes. <laughs> I have hopes that it will run well. Cause I didn't think Strikers ran all that badly. I thought it ran fine. And I know that there were people talking about how it didn't run very well on Steam. There's only some instances of frame rate drops, but also that game is a little intense because of all the stuff that spawns. Portable needs 10 gigs of space. Persona 3 potatoable. But yeah, it was it was a it was enemies. a good watch. I was like, it's one of those, this video only had to be made because a bunch of people on the internet were complaining about a fake fear that wasn't the case, and a lot of people who were involved in a level-headed discussion got shit thrown their way, essentially, for it, when it didn't make any sense. And the, the argument of consumers don't need to know what goes into making a game, we don't give a shit about that, so... Even though you say it's impossible, Unga Bunga do it anyway because we don't know how it works. And you shouldn't try to tell us how it works. It's such a stupid non-argument. Like, you don't need to know everything that goes into making a game, but you should at least 
have the understanding that making a game does take time, money, and resources, and you can't just pretend that it doesn't and then say, no, you should, no, you can make things better, trust. <laughs> and then when they go, no, it takes time, money, and resources, go, yeah, well, I don't know how that process works, so I don't care. That's not how, that's not, <laughs> that's not how you, that's not a valid argument. <laughs> that's essentially what I'm getting at. There are two of them, and they're shook up. How many diamonds do I have? Am I playing this game on my dinner? I am eating dinner, but I'm playing this game on my... On my really big switch that happens to be plugged into the wall and can play games on Steam. It's just a really large Steam Deck. Trust. <laughs> uh Oh, these are- oh, no wait! Oh, no, 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 I went too far. Where are my diamonds? I have 13. I would like 99. In which then I will later acquire Sapphire, I believe. But it's 8.30, and I did say I'd go till 8.30. So I will return to the entrance. 13's not a bad number. Just took, you know, um... Took a little while for the correct floor to show up, and I think that's why I went in by myself. Fights go by faster, yes. If I'm not using a persona and just holding- uh, just pressing Y. Um... But I get more annoying rare floors, like getting split up. Specifically that one. It, that one's removed from the equation entirely if I go- if I get on a floor by myself. So I may go by myself into Tartarus for the rest of these tomorrow. But yes, goodbye YouTube, because I'm wrapping it up here. Hey.